Welcome to the party. Ha! Hello, world to premiere scene. I'm Claire Bueno as Nice Gets Naughty at the gala premiere of The Smurfs 2. I am making my own creations to help me capture the Smurfs. Hello! Ooh. I call them... Hello, kitty. The Naughties. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Deeply disappointing experiment. Now, you know, the, the Smurfs, their names are based on um, a personality trait. Oh, yes, so, yeah, like the dwarfs, yes. Exactly, and I just wondered whether, what would your Smurf name be? It would sum you up. What would my Smurf name be if it was based on my personality? Charlietta. Charlietta? <laughs> Charlietta, because I like to eat everything. <laughs> what do you think? Um, Smiley Smurf. Okay, I like that. I like that. Smiley Smurf. Tall Smurf. <laughs> Perky Smurf. <laughs> Excitable. I think hyperactive. I mean, I'd be prescribed uh, Ritalin and suffering from HDHD, and and some of the mad things I've done is just simply camouflage for a very serious illness. So Excitable would be my name. There you are. Come, my naughties. We must capture Smurfette. Only she can give us the formula. Make you true blue Smurfs. Heck is blue! Ah, nothing can stop me now! <laughs> so we're here obviously at the Smurfs. Are you uh, are you a, we're a fan of the, the, the comics originally? Uh, not originally, no, but my daughter I've got a 15 year old daughter and she likes the Smurfs. So I, I, I live in Barcelona and uh, I didn't realise how successful the Smurfs were in, in Spain. And, uh, mm. and the new trailers look fantastic. And just getting involved and doing the track and working with uh, Sony, it's been, it's been great. Yeah, really good. Also, fun. cartoon characters can never disappoint you, can they? That's a great thing. That's why they use them in adverts all the time, I think. Because they can never, they never do anything outside of their normal life that upsets the corporates. So it's a good thing, I think. So you, you said that you've been working with Sony yes, in the yeah. film. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit more about how, how the collaboration? Uh, they came to us about writing a song for the uh, Smurf Global th thing, the Global Day. Then they, they came up with some ideas and, and they, then they said, would you, would you do I'm Too Smurfy? So we thought, all right. So, so, so we actually did and we quite we enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, so we quite enjoyed it. And they, then they were very happy with the way, because we actually recorded re-recorded the track. And they loved it. So now they're using it. They've been using the trailer now, and it's on the soundtrack. And so it's been it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And when you when you look back at I'm Too Sexy, because obviously that's what it's it, it's it's yes. based on. Yeah. Can you, does it, has it helped you kind of reflect back on the success that you had with that? Because that was phenomenal, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I think we're still sort of surprised by it, really. I think, I mean, it, you can look. There, it's you know, lots of people write big songs and big song, lots of even great songs come and go. But sex is one of those weird tracks that just seems to hang around. And I don't really know why. I have no idea why. Because it's catchy and it, and it and resonates with people. And it's, it does, and yeah. it's fun. Yeah. I, I, you know, and it's fun. It's, you know, it's life so short. I just think, you know, it's, it's... And I never not want to do it. I mean, every time we do a show, I actually quite look forward to doing it because it's so completely ridiculous. Yeah. And I love it. You can do it! Gotcha! Oh, no! They're taking Smurfette! It's lovely. It's wear blue. It's like kind of appropriate, isn't it, for it's a surfs. I like your hat. You went to more effort than me. <laughs> it's getting in with the spirit of the thing. Yeah, exactly. You're looking forward to today? Yeah, I'm excited. I love kids' fil films, so yeah, I'm really excited to see it. What is it about like, um, kids' films that kind of endears you so much? Is it just the escapism? I don't know. Like, I love children anyway. I've been in au pair lows and uh, yeah, I love kids, but I've, I don't know. I guess I grew up with the Smurfs and yeah, I'm really excited about it. Do you have a, a favourite Smurf? Uh, I probably should, but I'm not sure. I just want to like them all. <laughs> We've got to find Smurfette. Are you coming with us? Is a Smurf's butt blue? You tell me. <laughs> oh! Well, I think my kids are excited. My kids, I say my kids, my, my little girl and her Hello. two friends. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, they're really excited. They've been excited for the last two weeks, so it's been a bit of a, a nice build up to today. And uh, one of the, the one of the kind of themes in the film is they get transported elsewhere through a portal. So if you had a choice to, to be transported anywhere, where would it? Be? Oh my God! If I could be transported anywhere, anywhere hot on a beach with a pool right now would be great. Maybe like an, a, a Greek island or somewhere like that would be lovely. Yes, a rescue mission. You need all the help you can get. Give me the smart fat. Now, a la carte. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> Victor, you look foul. Oh yes, I did. Oh yes, I did. What are you looking forward to the most? Well, I've heard that Gargamel catches Smurfette, and I've never actually seen that being projected before, so it's going to be quite exciting. Yeah. He's really naughty, isn't he, Gargamel? Yeah, um, I've been looking at it all morning, so and it, and Gargamel, you know, is basically the, a wizard, and he tries to, you know, capture the Smurfs and that. Do you like magic yourself? Yeah, I've got a couple of magic sets at home. So, Have you? Yes. Can you tell us any tricks that you've uh, you've done? Well, I've actually got a coin trick at home where you put the coin and it turns out to be a different coin. So. Ooh, so you could be the next Gargamel. Yes. <laughs> Here's my plan. We trick her into acting like us. Then she'll tell us the secret formula. Naughty, naughty. Come on, Smurfette. Time to get naughty. Shut up. Very much looking forward to it, my son Jackson has just got a hat and a smurf and this is his friend Cassius. Hey, that's good going boys, we haven't only just walked in as well. It's all good stuff. And in the, film, the first film we saw them getting transported through a portal to New York. If you were able to be transported anywhere, where would you like to go? Oh God, do you know where immediately springs to mind is Harbour Island, which is a lovely um, Caribbean island with pink sand. Oh, really? Yeah. I went there once on a job about 10 years ago and I've always wanted to go back. Smurfette could never be tricked into being one of them. Yeah! Here comes trouble! <laughs> Are you looking forward to today? Yes, um, actually it's more my wife that wanted to, uh, to, to come and watch the film, so um, we've dragged along one of the kids just to kind of make it official, because apparently you can't get him without children, so... Uh, oh, well, that's, a, that's a damn shame. Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So now, yeah, it'll be good fun. See what these, it's like. these kind of, Are you a big fan of kind of live action and animation combined? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of the cinema, and to be honest, it can be anything. Uh, if it's something that I fancy going to see, then I'll, I'll go and see it. So, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't seen the first one, I have to say, so uh, hopefully it should be good. And it's in 3D. As a fan of cinema, are you, is it some, this 3D uh, a medium that you actually like? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. We like the 3D. Everything you can get, any kind of medium. Um, 3D, it's not Dolby sound anymore, but whatever the equivalent is nowadays, yeah, the bigger the, the noisier and, and, and the better it is. We enjoy it. Don't worry, Smurfs. It doesn't matter where you came from. What matters is who you choose to be. Let's go! I'm so excited to be here. It's like a childhood dream come true. I know I'm all grown up, but the Smurfs have been a dream for me. Like being here, I'm so happy. I'm like a little kid. <laughs> what is it about the Smurfs that, that you love so much? They're so small and they're blue. And I think my mum made me watch cartoons when I was younger. I mean, my christening theme song is the Smurf song. So I think it was instilled from me into me from a really, really young age. I'm just so excited to be here with my sister. And which, which is your favourite Smurf then? Smurfette. I want to be Smurfette. I want to be the true Smurfette. Move over, Katy Perry. I want to be Smurfette. And we're, we're going to see a, a different side to Smurfette in this film. Yes, we do. I can't, I can't wait to see it. Apparently, it's in Paris and they get lost. So, and were you, If you were to get lost anywhere, where would it be? Where would it be? Um, probably in Disneyland. Disneyland's a dream. I think I'm just a big kid at heart. Get it, get it. <laughs> nice shot! I used to watch the Smurfs on TV when I was younger and I used to collect the little plastic figurines. So I, I have to say, I, you know, I, so I, I, I'm a bit out of the loop with what goes on these days with the Smurfs, but I'm looking forward to finding out. What was it, do you think, that attracted you to, to them in the first place? What attracted me to what oh. what you liked about them? What did I like about the Smurfs? Because because they I don't know I think they I think I think they're good fun and they're cute and they're blue and they're just I don't know it's just it's just nonsense really it's good nonsense. Have you got a favourite Smurf from your past? God, I should have done my research. You're okay. The girl one, the the girly one, and the grandpa isn't there? A oh, the the, the Smurf. And, and, and Papa Smurf. Yes, exact. Smurfette and Papa Smurf. I've done my research. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Right in the Smurf berries. The Smurfs. Two. How dare you? Moron.